My name's Nathan Gunn, and I am a singer, an opera singer, and a baritone. And today I'm going to give you my top five list of performances where I was asked to disrobe. My number five is the character of Rio Lobo in the opera Florencia en el Amazonas. Rio Lobo is not only a steward on a boat in the middle of the Amazon, where he is robed, but he's also the river god, meaning R Rio Lobo being river wolf. So the reason I put that as number five, it was fun, but I had to be spray painted every night in this sort of darker shade of myself and then smear blood and mud on me up while singing to a, uh, a river god. So that's number five. Number four is the character of Clive in uh, An American Tragedy that was uh, opera by Tobias Picker, libretto by Jean Shear, and based on uh, the novel, the famous American novel. And um, the interesting thing about that one is that's the only opera where I actually didn't disrobe myself, but I was disrobed by the soprano who refused to disrobe herself. Her character had to wear a slip. Okay, but anyway, so that's number four. Number three, maybe it should, no, it's number three, is uh, Father de Laura in uh, Love and Other Demons by Peter Utfisch, based on the Gabriel uh, Garcia Marquez book. And the thing about this one that was really great is that not only did I have to disrobe on stage in the middle of kind of a love scene that wasn't happening, and I'm a priest, but I also had to film it prior to that while flagellating myself and being smeared with blood. That was a good one. Okay, so that was, and in love with a 15-year-old girl. Okay, so that was number, uh, what was that, number three? Number two, Billy Budd. Billy Budd, I have sung probably almost every production on the planet, and all but one have I had to disrobe after I am uh, arrested for killing the bad guy. So not only am I arrested and gonna be hanged, but then they make, put me in the hole of a ship and make me take my shoes and shirt off. It's not particularly fair. But so that's, that's four out of, I think four out of the five productions uh, that had to happen before I was hanged. And number one, I, wa I make this number one because this is the beginning of all of the uh, uh, baritones and operas uh, having to take their clothes off, was the opera called Iphigenie en Tauride in 1997, directed by Francesca Zambello. And six months before we, we started, she said, now, you're, you're going to, at the beginning of this opera, you are going to be soaking wet and stripped down to your uh, waist. You know, your, your friend Bill, he's going to be in like a you know, loincloth, but you'll have some pants on, and they're going to strip you down, and then they're going to tie you to a rope and beat you. So if you're worried about it, go to the gym. And of course, they sold out all their opera glasses, and it kind of became, <laughs> began the whole bear hunk thing, or as I like to prefer, hunkatone. My name is Nathan Gunn, and those were my top five choices for performances in operas where I've had to disrobe. <laughs>